Did you hear what I was playing, Ling? I wasn't really listening. Well, you should have been. I may not be the best with chords yet, but I've got rhythm. By the way, did you, um, did you buy those pretzels for Angelica? Oh, also, I thought we had a giant uh, thing of cool cheese in the fridge. Yeah, I ate it. The whole thing? Well, I finished it. You and Ernest ate most of it. Why is there never any good food in this house? Why are all bachelor pads like that? Because we buy too much fancy food and then eat it too quickly. I don't know, like couples are more sensible about that kind of thing. Another reason I'll never get married. I was almost married once. Good for you. Ernest here. No lane. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for coming over. No problem. Eating already, I see. It's five o'clock. It's snack time. I don't think I've seen you since Thursday. Well, I've been out of town. What do you even do out of town? I had to see some friends. Who? Friends from high school. I didn't know you had any friends from high school. Well, I do, and it's our five-year reunion. What's a little pretzels? They're for Angelica. And Graham. Graham's coming over? Yes, indeed. That's nice. Not for you. Why is that? Well, I'm sure Angelica won't be happy that you're here. The way you flirt with Graham is almost as disgusting as the way he flirts with you. Well, I'm kind of in love with him. I was actually thinking about maybe asking him out. Oh. So you're here on business. You're so unromantic. Look, my mom left my dad when I was a year old. Romance, love. Love is romantic, but commitment? It's the end of everything. The best part about romance is not knowing what's gonna come next. Well, that's you. This is me. Those are for Angelica. Well, you've been eating them the whole time. She's my stepmom. Have some of the goldfish. Those are for Graham. Okay, geez. Cool it. Leave some for Graham. You two aren't even dating yet. And I doubt you ever will. Why is that? Does Graham know about... Accessory. Who? Lane! Where did I leave Ernest's phone? You left it in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. Can't you found my phone? Oh, I did indeed. And you, my friend, have been receiving some very interesting birthday texts. Give me that! From Cecily Cardew. Figured I should text my bestie on their birthday to tell them how much they mean <laughs> to me. <laughs> Love and miss you, Jack. Four heart emojis. Cecily's my aunt. Your aunt's your bestie. Some people are best friends with their aunts. Come on, Ernest. I always suspected you were a Barneyist. A what? I'll tell you if you tell me the truth. Okay, fine. She's my best friend from back home. And where is that exactly? Not telling you. So, the two of you were close. Yeah, we grew up together. And yet, she seems to think your name is... Jack. It's short for Jacqueline. It's my dead name. You let your bestie call you by your dead name? I'm not out to her yet. <laughs> well, you're out to her about something, because she seems to think your pronouns are they, them. Now, the entire time I've known you, You've been going by he, him, so I just assumed you were a guy. Well, I'm not. I'm gender fluid. Well, you could have clarified that. Look, I spent my whole life being treated as a girl, so when it came to the city, I thought, hey, why not give masculinity a try? So I said I was a dude. A dude named Ernest? Yes. Does Cecily know about this? She thinks Ernest is my shitty roommate. Why would she think that? Well... Because when I need an excuse not to go home for the holidays or whatever, I just say I need to help Ernest or keep him company. So your roommate's name is Ernest? I don't have a roommate. So, if you're not Ernest, 
And your roommate's not Ernest. Who's Ernest? No one, I guess. <sighs> you, my friend, are a master Barneyist. Please tell me what the hell a Barneyist is. Well, when my stepmom comes over and insists on butting her head into my personal life, I tell her that I have to go and take care of my friend Barney. He's got cancer. It's very sad. And how come I've never heard of him? Because Barney, like Ernest, doesn't exist. Keep up, Jack. We're both Barneyists. I'm not a Barneyist. If Graham says yes, then I'm going to kill off Ernest. Or send him off to Australia or something. And you should kill off Barry. Barney. Whatever. Why would I kill Barney? He's the best friend I've ever had. He's gotten me out of all sorts of scrapes. You're going to want to be a Barneyist if you end up with Graham. I really like Graham. I don't want him to think I need some excuse not to spend time with him. Let me tell you something, Jack. In a relationship, three's company and two is nothing and that's the truth. Please don't call me Jack. Sorry. Jack. Stop it! I could be a crush, I could throw you for a rush, like hoping it takes me so I could tell you I've been thinking about your touch.